Hi, this is Kevin with Wordvice. Thanks for joining us in our series on the Common Application Essay. Today we will discuss prompt number one for the essay, a meaningful background, identity, interest, or talent. So let's look at the prompt. Some students have a background, identity, interest, or talent that is so meaningful they believe their application would be incomplete without it. If this sounds like you, then please share your story. As you can see, we've highlighted four terms in bold. Background, identity, interest, or talent. Now, though you should have by now probably brainstormed some ideas about what you're going to write on, this topic is so vast that today we're going to try and narrow it down a little bit. So let's look at the four components. The first one is background. If you have perhaps a non-traditional background, um, maybe you're part of an ethnic group or you grew up in a disadvantaged area, you have had a challenging upbringing or very unique, perhaps you spent a year traveling the world with your family when you were young, you might want to focus on that background. Identity is the second area that you can focus on. Uh, maybe you are a member of an interesting subgroup um, or subculture. So if you identify with a cultural or a national heritage that is different from the mainstream heritage of the society in which you live, or maybe you're an unlikely fan of a a game or political affiliation, that might be something for you to focus on here. Whatever it is that makes you, you, is what you want to show the admissions officer here. Uh, the next area is interest. An esoteric or highly unusual area of interest is best to focus on. Uh, for example, if you love doing horticulture, or you're taking horticulture classes, you might discuss about a garden project you've been working on. Or if you restore old model airplanes, you might talk about what brought you to that um, behavior, what brought you to that hobby, and how it impacts your life and makes you who you are. You want to talk about something that's special or endearing, um, something that's special to you and that will endear the admissions officer to you as a person. If you remember, the purpose of the application essay is to give the admissions officers more information about you. Also, if you're a member of an interest group or club that does productive activities, goes out into the community, this would be a great opportunity to focus on that. Perhaps, again, going back to horticulture, if you have a gardening group or you are interested in a community uh, cleanup, if this interests you, you can show the officers how your productivity has impacted both you and the community in which you live. Uh, the last interest, or the last area that you can focus on for this prompt is talent. Um, you should keep in mind that you don't have to have an extraordinary ability. You don't have to be a world-class gymnast or have won a chess championship. You can talk about a normal ability. Um, it could be a useful skill that benefits those around you or demonstrates creativity, effectiveness, or leadership skills. Uh, maybe you've brought members of the community together on occasions to work on public projects or negotiated peace between members of groups at school. Or you could talk about how you've created and executed difficult projects. Uh, abilities like these really show that you you're not just doing something for yourself, but you're doing something to help those around you, and that's going to be hugely beneficial to help you stand out from other applicants. Um, it could be something as simple as having a way of helping others. If you were, for example, a math tutor or English or science tutor for those that lack the ability, again, this would show how you use your talent to help others. You don't want to focus just on how good you are at something. For example, if you are a world-class piano player, talking about how you're better than the other piano players is not going to endear 
the admissions officers to you. Rather, showing how you've overcome difficulty with your talent or used it to benefit your life or the lives of others is really going to be something that will stand out in this essay. So once you have chosen an area to write on, a very specific area, you will move on to your next step, which is to pick a story. Uh, you want to find a compelling story or anecdote to start your essay that illustrates a point you want to make about yourself. And this should be a real life moment, something that actually happened. And when we say compelling, we mean it in the sense of it should have emotion, it should have a, a clear sto a storyline, even if it's very short. It should make the reader feel where you're coming from, what were your motivations, and feel some sort of impact. In your story, you should have a problem and a solution. For example, if you chose the topic, the area of background, and you spent a year with your family traveling Europe, I'm sure even in that situation there were many problems and solutions. The problem might be you didn't have school for a year, you weren't allowed to socialize with your friends. The solution might be that you learned how to overcome that, you made new friends in other countries, for instance. So having a problem and a solution shows that you're able to resolve difficulties in your life and uh, create solutions for problems that you might have. Once you've picked a story and honed in on a little segment of your experience or background, you want to think about creating an anecdote. An anecdote is just a little story, a compelling mini story, that shows the details of your general story, whether it's your identity or your background. Um, so what you want to do is start in the middle of the story. <clears throat> Taking that world trip, for instance. Instead of discussing what you did before that, what were the steps to plan that trip. You know, I was 13 when my parents decided to go on a trip. I had to cancel classes, A, B, C. Instead of structuring it like an academic essay, Better to think about it as a short fictional story where you start in the middle of the action. For instance, if you are talking about your ethnic identity as an important part of who you are, you might pick a time when that identity created a crisis where you were confronted with something difficult that you had to overcome, whether it's a, a conflict with another person or whether it created uh, any kind of difficulty in your life. So start right in the middle of that uh, period of your life. And in doing this, you will grab the reader's attention. Like we mentioned before, we have hundreds or thousands of essays that readers or uh, that uh, applicants will be submitting. So if your essay grabs the attention of the admissions officer, that's going to be the one they remember and you're going to be the one that's in their minds when they're deciding who to admit to their school. Um, after you've created an anecdote, you want to tell a backstory. Uh, you want to give the reader some history to let them know about the process. Now here's where you can talk about what led up to, for example, your trip abroad for a year. Um, you want to stay focused on that trip, though, on that experience. So if you're discussing your vacation abroad, or your, your, your abroad, your education, your experience, you don't want to stray into uh, other social activities. You focus on how that experience affected you and what you did to prepare yourself for it. Um, give lots of details. This is important both in the anecdote portion and in the backstory. So don't be vague about it. Tell your age, tell, give sensory details, um, give your emotional feelings at the time, talk a lot about how this experience impacted you and formed your personality. The last step in your essay is to finish strong. And creating a conclusion in many people's minds is just, a conclusion is just restating what you said at the beginning. That's only part of it. Of course you want to link back to the beginning. So, for instance, if you're talking about your trip abroad, you want to remind the reader 
that that was the seminal important moment in your life. So in a conclusion, you might say that moment when we arrived at the port in Greece and I knew nobody, I didn't speak the language. I didn't realize at the time that period in my life would shape my history, would shape the rest of my life and my destiny. That would be a good example of linking that seminal experience to, um, to your overall personality and, and, and who you are. You want to think about the conclusion as a status update. On social media, we might say, today I'm eating a hamburger or something. So you're giving the reader an insight into who you are right now. So the anecdote, the backstory is your history. The conclusion is where you are now. And that should show the officers that you're ready for higher education. And to further prove your point about being prepared for higher education, you can talk about your future goals, how this experience has prepared you for study at university, maybe for graduate school. What are your goals after university, if you have any? Show that you have ambition and that this moment is not just a moment in time, it's an experience and a, a background that has prepared you for future goals. So let's talk about some things to do on this essay and some things to avoid. In this essay, do make it personal. It's a personal narrative, so you can include lots of pronouns such as I, me, we, my, our family, my feelings, you want to give the reader a sense of who you are, how it affected you. Again, provide lots of detail, sensory details. What were the smells? What were the sounds? What were your feelings? Were you feeling anxious? Were you scared? Did you feel overwhelmed? Those signaling adjectives can really make the reader feel like they're in your place, which is exactly what you want. And please do focus on personal growth. Again, you're showing how you've grown because of this background, this identity, this talent, this experience. You want to show how it has made you into the full person with the GPA, with the test scores that you are today. Here are some things to avoid. In this essay, avoid just telling your story. Show it. You've heard of the axiom, show, don't tell. That means in your anecdote, for instance, you can show dialogue with quotation marks. Instead of just saying, my teacher was upset, you might say, my teacher told me we don't want people like you in this class. That really shows the concrete details of the situation and puts the reader in the place of the narrator, which is you. Avoid boasting or bragging too much, especially if you focus on talent. It, again, if you choose an interest or talent, Show how that talent made you a better person. Show how it impacted your growth. And always remember on any of these essay prompts, narrow it down. You're not trying to give a summary of your life. In 650 words or less, you really only have time to give the details and the impact of one area, one experience in your life. So there is your overview of prompt number one for the 2017-2018 Common App Essay. If you have any questions or would like more information, visit www.wordvice.com. Thanks and happy writing.